Hello everybody, Arturo Johnson here. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you why most agents fail at getting clients online. And today in this video, I really just wanna debunk some myths because I think that a lot of times expectations aren't set right when it comes to agents and, and how to get clients online. And so there's a few things that I really wanna focus on today. And uh, I'm gonna keep this really simple and easy. And the number one reason why agents think that getting clients online doesn't work is because they don't understand the math. So before I get into this, if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button as well as uh, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can get more value like this. It really helps the algorithm and click the bell so that you can be notified every time that I create uh, more valuable videos just like this. And so, uh, a lot of agents and advisors, they just don't understand the math. And before we get started, I want to talk about a few national averages here that I think are very important to know because it's all about setting the right expectations. So if you come into doing some online uh, client acquisition with the wrong expectations, which are completely different than doing them offline, then you're going to think that it doesn't work. And so the national average for uh, cost per lead is about ten dollars online and insurance companies they pay probably upwards to to fifty dollars per lead online and the thing about these leads is is when they sell them to you you know they're not exclusive at all and the closing rate for leads online is about two to three percent now I know that the savvy advisors and agents are looking at this number and they're kind of uh, wagging their finger and shaking their head because I know what you guys are saying, right? Well, Arturo, I close about 75% of referrals. And that's great, and that may be true, um, but the challenge is with referrals, right? There's some limitations to it. And so let's talk about those limitations because there is a limitation to referrals. And the limitations of referrals is that obtaining referrals can be very, very difficult if you're just starting out. So if you're brand new and you're just kind of starting with your warm market, right? You know, you don't really have a proven track record. So you don't really have a ton of credibility to be asking and prospecting up with people in meetings because, you know, you haven't worked with clients like them. Um, also, number two, you know, relying on referrals is limited because you don't have control over how many you get and the quality, right? So a lot of times um, we can ask somebody for referrals, you know, who do you know? We can drop a feed list or uh, we can, can kind of throw out some categories and we can get some names and numbers, but we don't know for sure if they're qualified and it's really up to our prospects to, to, to kind of qualify in their head on the spot for us to grow our business. And um, that's really not a safe model to kind of use. The third thing is that referrals aren't a rinse and repeat process to get the same amount and the exact same results each time. So what I mean by that is, is, is you can ask twice a day, right, for referrals, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna end up the month with that, that 80 to 100 um, referrals that you need. And even if you do, it's not gonna end up getting you the uh, results that you want every single time so you can ask twice and you may not get 80 to 100 and then you may not get the exact same results the next month either and that leads into number four that the same amount of referrals just won't result in the same amount of clients and so you can get you know 60 one month 80 the next and then 100 but a lot of times the month that you got 100 you, you got less clients than the ones when you barely asked and, and only got like 30 referrals and that's because the quality of referrals different and the the, the referral is only as strong as the referrer, right? And so if you're going into a meeting and you kind of really just barely got the clothes and now you're asking to be teed up by folks um, that really are on the fence of becoming a client and may end up just calling and canceling the policy um, right after it uh, gets commission authorized, then you know, you're in for the fix. And so, you know, let's go ahead and do some math here. Um, and so, you know, let's just say we were going to get about three to four leads per day, right? And that comes out to about an average of about 100 
uh, leads per month. So let's just use some round numbers here to make this math simple. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna get two to three clients per month. Now remember, we did say that the closing rate for online leads was about two to three percent. So if we got a hundred leads and we close at two to three percent, we'll get about two to three clients every single month. And now on average, you know, let's just say the case is about six grand a premium for every new client. And the reason why we can say six grand a premium is because these people are going to be highly qualified and they'll probably be something like an attorney, right? And so if we're getting three new clients at six grand a premium, that comes out to about 18 grand a premium. And, and, and the most important thing about that is that's just within the first 30 days, right? Um, and so with that just being there within the first 30 days, we have 97 qualified prospects that are interested that we can follow up with and try to close more business in that specific area and in your specific area that's close to you. And these leads are exclusive to you. And so I just want to make sure that you're kind of seeing the power of this. And so, um, you know, let's do some more math, right? Let's take the national average, which is $10 per lead online, right? And we're gonna get three to four leads per day, which is about 100 leads per month. And the cost per lead is $10. So we're gonna get 100. And so we're gonna spend $1,000 um, per month. And that's gonna give us our $1,000 per month ad spend. And so we're gonna be spending $1,000 to make 18 grand in premium. Now, let's think about that. Spend, put a thousand in, get 18 grand of premium out. Seems like a no brainer, right? And the best part about this is these leads are exclusive to you and you know they're qualified because you did them yourself. And so, you know, I know a lot of agents and advisors are probably saying, well, Arturo, <laughs> who has time to follow up with 97 leads, right? Like I'm a busy man, I'm successful, right? I don't have time to be following up with, with 97 leads. Well, this is where we leverage technology, right? There's this wonderful thing called technology, right? The internet, right? And so here are a few ways that we can kind of leverage technology um, to kind of scale our businesses, right? We can use email marketing, we can use text marketing, we can use chatbots and messenger on Facebook, and we can use some automation. So there are tons of tools that we can use to really pair with us so that these things can duplicate us and really kind of, you know, have that web effect, right? You know, the internet, we can use that and really follow up with people in a systematic and proper approach to, to close more business. And so this is very, very simple. Um, so let's, let's do a little bit more math here. So the national average, you know, in this case, in a worst case scenario, right? $20 per lead online. And let's say, you know, we were just closing, just gonna close at a modest, just 1%. Let's do some math with this model and in extreme case and see what the results look like. So three to four leads per day, right? 100 leads per month at $20 cost per lead for 100 leads is, is $2,000. And so we're gonna be spending $2,000 per month on ad spend to make $6,000 of premium because we're only closing one case, right? And so that is still a 3x ROI. And so I want you to be able to see the power of using these things online. And the most important thing is, is this is the return within the first 30 days, right? And so I'm reading this book called Principles by Ray Dalio. And uh, this guy's a, you know, hedge fund manager that ran a successful hedge fund called Bridgewater. Uh, if you haven't read this book and you're in the financial service industry, I highly recommend you picking this up. And in this book, he talks about finding investments and being smart with your, with your money and getting a seven to 10% uh, return on investments. But he's talking about an annual ROI, right? And so what I'm talking about here is a three X ROI in the first 30 to 60 days. And so I want you to see the power of this because this is kind of the new age way to, to leverage and reinvest really quick, quickly to really grow your business really fast. And this is the exact same way that I was able to get my business to six figures in just six months and 29 days. And so 
Another thing here is if you don't want to leverage technology, right? If you want to still kind of do it the old school way, you can just hire a rep to follow up with those 97 leads and set some appointments that way. And then you can go and see them because the thing is, is there's always two things that, that you either have, right? You either have no money and a lot of time, or you have a lot of money and no time. And when you have a lot of money and no time, then you use leverage of technology or other people's time. So we use uh, OPT, right? Which is other people's time in order to, to get the job done. And so I want you to see how powerful this is. And I'm really just here to kind of debunk a few myths that I've been hearing, because I've been hearing this a lot about, oh, online leads suck and this and that. And so I really want you to kind of focus here and see how amazing this process is. And so when we leverage technology like this, this is kind of that web effect. It really just puts us in position to be able to focus and do the things that matter, right? So if we're leveraging email marketing, text message marketing, chatbots and automation, as well as ha having um, a rep to, to do our calls, then guess what we're doing? We have just changed the game. We have gone from 80% of our time door knocking, cold calling, and, and networking and relying on referrals to 20% of our time being in meetings to now we're spending you know, 80% of our time in meetings and 20% of our time processing applications and, and orders. And this is where you want to be. And this is exactly how I've been able to, to get my business to, to the multi six figure level at this point. And so, you know, this is what the grinders um, are thinking about and really wondering about, but this is what the rainmakers are doing. This is why you see the rainmakers qualifying for all the trips, you know, making all the commissions, why the grinders are down there splitting up, you know, all of the, the little pieces, the morsels that are just left on the side of the crumbs, right? And so this is really what we want to focus on because this is all about a rainmaker mindset, how to leverage to be the most productive as possible. And so again, I hope this was helpful. Um, click the link below if you like this video, if you had any comments or uh, any questions about any of this. And if you'd like to, to learn a little bit more, there is a link for a masterclass that really goes in depth so that you can learn a little bit more and if you are interested after that, you know, you can book a call with myself and my team, give us a little bit more information and we can see how we can work together again. So I, I hope this was helpful. Um, thank you guys and have a great day.